We're talking the surprise ending, the final reveal, the complete reversal, the brilliant misdirection that's thrown right in our face. These are our picks for the top 10 best movie twists of all time. Okay, seriously, last chance. We're about to ruin like 47 and a half different movies with great twists, either by letting you know that they have one in the first place and what kind it is, or by dissecting it completely, leaving it about as tantalizing as a swimsuit model after an autopsy. So to everyone who's still here, either extremely well watched, forgetful, or masochistic, let's kick it off with our first category, the time and place twist. While the vast majority of twists are aimed at deceiving us about either the what or the who, for our number 10 pick, we want to look at those that mislead us in terms of where and when. When in movies like Triangle and The Village, and where in films such as Dark City, Pandorum, Inside Man, The Lego Movie, and Buried. However, for our number 10 pick, we prefer the ending of The Planet of the Apes. Oh my god, I'm home. Not only is the idea that they were on Earth the whole time absolutely brilliant, it perfectly rides the line between completely unexpected and yet inevitable that tends to be the recipe for great twists. Too out of left field and it feels like a mid-career M. Night Shyamalan film, too predictable and we're likely to smell it a mile off. Ape's twist is also perfectly calculated to torture the jaded Charlton Heston and his particular brand of misanthropy, while also participating in the nuclear dialogue that was so very relevant in the 60s. Next up at number 9, we're looking at the conspiracy twist. A common heist trope, this is the kind of twist where we realize everything that's happened was actually what somebody intended. The Spanish Prisoner, The Life of David Gale, April Fool's Day, Disclosure, The Parallax View, Lucky Number Slevin, Ocean's Eleven, Seven, and The Game are all excellent examples of this. But for our number 9 pick, we're going with The Sting. FBI. Don't anybody try to leave. It's not just that they're misleading Lonigan when they convince him to place a bet on Lucky Dan, it's that he thinks he's the one with the upper hand, that he's going to be conning them. And when he realizes that he's being duped, bad luck for the con men, the FBI come to save the day, and it looks like Lonigan's coming out on top. Of course, this too was a con. We love this kind of twist because it takes advantage of our own hubris. Just when we think we're ahead of the plot, fully informed and up on every aspect of the machinations, we realize that we too are being duped. We're Lonigan when we think we're Gondorf, and we commit the exact same mistake he does, overbetting our hand. If you've ever watched Scooby-Doo, you'll be familiar with our number 8. This is the unexpected bad guy, aka it was the Gardner all along twist. It's your basic whodunit. And movies like No Way Out, Arlington Road, Friday the 13th, Deep Red, Unknown, The Conversation, Witness for the Prosecution, After the Thin Man, Unbreakable, and The Usual Suspects are all excellent examples of this twist. But we think that Murder on the Orient Express did it better than any of the others, because it throws an extra twist on top. The murder must then have been committed by some person or persons in the Cali coach and therefore in a presence in this dining car. Based on the Agatha Christie novel, Murder on the Orient Express presents an incredibly complex portrait of 13 strangers on a train, each more suspicious than the next in the murder of Cassetti, a mafioso who'd kidnapped, ransomed, and killed an infant years before. And while initially it seems that there is nothing connecting any of the suspects, it emerges that the one thing they have in common is that they all have a reasonable motive. And the real killer? Why, it was everyone. They each stabbed him once. The perfect cover-up for who's guilty was that they're all guilty. Of course, not everyone is a secret murderer. Sometimes we can be surprised by the villain turning out to be less guilty than we thought. The twist appears in films like Tell No One, Marnie, The Man Who Shot Liberty Valance, and in both directions with Basic. However, our favorite incarnation of it has to be from Charade. Of all the mean, rotten, contemptible, crooked... Crooked? I should think you'd be glad to find out I'm not crooked. Cary Grant's Peter seems to have suspiciously self-interested motives. Then, of course, he confesses that he's really Alex Dial, the brother of a murdered man there to represent his interests. Of course, when it turns out that the man had no brother, the truth comes out. He's, in fact, Adam Canfield, a professional thief. After being accused of being the murderer, then killing the real murderer, Cary Grant goes with Audrey Hepburn to the CIA to turn over the stolen wealth. Because Cary Grant, a.k.a. Peter Joshua, a.k.a. Alex Dial, a.k.a. Adam Canfield, is actually CIA agent Brian Cruikshank all along in disguise as a man in disguise as a man in disguise. 
At number 6, we have possibly the most controversial and occasionally obnoxious twist commonly found in film, the It Was All a Dream twist. Now we say dream, but we're including in any other related mechanics equivalent to not the real world. Think The Matrix, American Psycho, The Descent, Jacob's Ladder, Brazil, Atonement, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari, The Adventures of Baron Munchausen, Repo Man, Vanilla Sky, and Abre Los Ojos, Total Recall, Existence, Identity, and maybe Mulholland Drive, nobody is really sure. But for our number six pick, we've got to give it to the original, the magical, the lovable, the Wizard of Oz. I tried to get back for days and days. There, there, lie quiet now. You just had a bad dream. It was all a dream can be pretty frustrating when it seems like something really interesting and subversive is going on, only to turn out that nothing was real, nothing needs to make sense, it was just a prank, bro. But there's a good version of this twist too, and it usually happens when the dream has some real consequence for the character in the outside world. They need to solve an internal problem, and the dream was a subconscious mechanism for doing this, by externalizing the internal. And this is what the Wizard of Oz does right. Not only is she subconsciously working out her conflicts in a symbolic way, she ends up learning an important lesson about home by the end that makes her waking up meaningful to the part of the story that happened before her dream began. Of course, sometimes only part of a story is all in the protagonist's head. The twist, of course, comes from detangling the fantasy from the reality. These are head trips like The Machinist, Secret Window, Shutter Island, A Beautiful Mind, and Memento, films where the audience experiences the delusions alongside their unreliable narrator. Primal Fear twists against this by being not all in his head. But our number five pick goes to another Ed Norton mind and if you haven't guessed it by now, it's Fight Club. We have just lost cabin pressure. Probably one of the most popular twists of the last few decades, Fight Club manages to slip an entire character bias without us noticing. A character who interacts with all kinds of different characters, unlike the other films that we mentioned here that tend to keep their hallucinations separate. Fincher adeptly juggles the two characters into and out of scenes, keeping them both involved almost simultaneously but never quite. And the reveal? A wonderful hallucinogenic moment of reality crashing down around the narrator in a moment of pure cinema. Counting down to number four is a classic of horror films and thrillers alike, the not dead after all twist. The twist is done best in films like Gone Baby Gone, Tell No One, and Then There Was None, Laura, Les Diaboliques, Gone Girl, and Saw. It was also subverted brilliantly in The Prestige and The Sixth Sense where characters are dead after all. However, for our number four pick, there's no character we're happier to find still alive than Harry Lime from The Third Man. As soon as I get to the bottom of this, I'll get the next plane. Death's at the bottom of everything, Martins. Leave death to the professional. My and writer Holly Martins travels to Vienna to see his childhood friend Harry Lime, he finds that he's just died in an accident. But the facts don't add up. He suspects murder. Until one day, he hears footsteps following him and sees a dark figure in a doorway to reveal the one, the only, Harry Lime. Played by a devilishly charming Orson Welles, the twist is revealed in one of the most magical shots ever committed to film. I don't think there's ever been a grin as perfect as Welles is here, which is practically reason enough alone for us to pick it. But it's also an excellent twist where the entire plot flips on its head and the victim becomes the perpetrator. So it's a must on our list. Next up at number three, we've got ourselves another look at Orson Welles. And while you might guess Citizen Kane, you'd be wrong. Rosebud is a wonderful reveal, but we're not quite sure it's really a plot twist in the traditional sense of the word. Instead, this spot is here to honor straight up lies. Consider The Mist, a movie that convinces us there's no hope for salvation until we learn otherwise. Or Witness for the Prosecution, where a wife lies to a jury about her husband's guilt so as to purposefully be exposed, proving him innocent. Or Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf and its myth of a missing son. No, for our pick, our favorite lie actually goes to a documentary, the last 17 minutes of F for Fake. Tell it by the fireside or in a marketplace or in a movie. Almost any story is almost certainly some kind of lie. Orson Welles' documentary about forgery and authenticity begins with a promise. During the next hour, everything you'll hear from us is really true and based on solid facts. And this, of course, isn't a lie, but the film lasts 85 minutes, not 60. So one hour in, Orson Welles' story turns from a documentary to fiction, engaging in a sort of meta-commentary on the act of forgery. In the end, Orson comes clean, but not without first making us feel paranoid about pretty much everything else we've ever seen in a documentary. Closing in at number two, we've got the good old-fashioned identity mix-up. There's Frailty and The Crying Game and Shattered and Matchstick Men and Enemy and Old Boy and The Man from Earth, but for our pick, we're pretty sure you commoners would eat us alive if we didn't give it to Luke's father from The Empire Strikes Back. Obi-Wan never told you what happened to your 
father. As far as twists go, this is about as big as they come. So how did they keep it a secret? Well, they lied about it in the script and to just about everybody but Lucas and Hamill, then overdubbed the line later. And while a common myth suggests they had him say, Obi-Wan is your father, he really just said, come and join me on the dark side, which definitely has far less impact. Finally, for our number one, we've got a slightly different take on the mistaken identity twist. Instead of realizing we've confused someone for another, we realize they're the exact same person. Think high tension and the skin I live in and the color of night and especially Chinatown. But unfortunately, there's no one for the top of our list but Hitch. And with two strong contenders for this spot, it's not going to be easy to let Vertigo off with only an honorable mention, but we have to because our number one twist goes to the Norman Bates reveal in Psycho. Of course, this isn't the only twist in the film worth a shot. Let's not forget that the main character dies a third of the way into the movie, and that his mother's actually been dead for 10 years. But when it's revealed that mild-mannered Norman actually dresses up as his dead mother so that he can kill protagonists weirdly early in the movie just to f*** with our heads, well, that just about takes the cake, which is why it's our pick for the number one best movie twist of all time. So, what do you think? Did we not spoil enough movies for you? Did we spoil the wrong movies? God forbid we spoiled too many. Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe for more Cinefix spoiler lists. I mean, movie lists.